hey y'all welcome back to the channel welcome back welcome back welcome back oh yes we gotta talk about will smith once again and them seeking litigation after his behind they got it in the sun the sun or the u.s sun.com <coughs> they are not really letting it go too far so it may be a situation where we might be seeing Will lose his Oscar. <coughs> but it's no real big deal with him. <coughs> he know he won it. He might not have the little golden trophy, but it just is what it is. And you see how Miss Jada Pinkett got out of that green garden forest outfit of a, a gown and got into something else long champagne color now you see they were cutting up right before the oscars doing that shit now what if it was a situation where they just wanted to come and cut up anyway you know what i'm saying have you ever seen that movie mercurian candidate it's an old movie but um denzel washington actually brought it back out look it up in your spare time look at the um movie and then y'all tell me what y'all think could a person be mk archer to do crazy stuff that they didn't intend to do and then somebody give a little keyword or this that and the third and then you start acting out of character i'm just saying because will was down there laughing his ass off and so jada <coughs> gave him that look and probably chanted something and then he just went berserko okay because how can you get rewarded for something and then he got his ex-wife up there hugging on him and stuff and getting her little photo time in uh of him holding well she holding the award but him embracing her after he done did such an awful thing i mean what's good is bad and what's bad is good now so we rewarding bad behavior of an adult then we got Trevor Noah up there now. He was getting on Kanye West for bullying, so-called allegedly, uh, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. But then we'll actually go up there and get physical with someone. <laughs> and then accept his awards, award and is allowed to speak about getting his award or his acceptance speech. Then he gets to party after the oscars child that's a shame and a scandal a shame and a scandal but yeah that little hell for jada she called herself getting out getting out of that forest looking outfit okay like she was wearing the whole damn garden <coughs> and then she got into a, a champagne color dress like yeah we started some shit ain't that shit ugly oh, i didn't know it went that long i thought it just tapered somewhat around her feet but it i'm like girl no that was too much for me and it was weird packers day because i think he had uh produced the oscars for this year so that was a big thing for him and a habit so minimalized down to a fight or not even a fight a slap and this was a story being told about venus and serena's life growing up this that and the third see that's why beyonce don't come to shit like that she just tape her shit so I, I ain't up for the fool the foolery the fuckery and the fraudulent activity and the foolishness they got going on at these award shows that's why see what i'm saying beyonce you ain't gonna know nothing about her and uh karen hubert told us about or janet hubert told us about will and his comings and goings but i can see why beyonce said just let me just do what i gotta do y'all pay me my I'm gonna get the hell on because I don't like none of y'all. <laughs> so I'm like, kudos, Beyonce. Do you keep doing you and, and, and keep getting your money and stay away from these folks that ain't doing nothing but causing chaos out here? But yes, honey, the U.S. Sun had broke a story uh, and they titled it Against His Will. Will Smith was asked to leave Oscars but refused after the Academy ruled the slap to chris rock broke code of conduct so see these are some things they're gonna be looking at so while we'll over there partying hard and, and, and celebrating his oscar win he might be giving that well like i said that ain't no real thing it's just a little 
token thing a replica but once it's all did, done and said he might not be having that oscar okay to put down in one of his trophy cases seemed like he let his mom keep his trophies and stuff but it just is what it is but in the article it says this came as the academy earlier ruled his shocking slap at Chris Rock broke their code of conduct following an investigation. Well, they weren't going to do anything until some other people, and it probably was white people, okay, and affluent Asian people. And, and, and uh, it's like, no, 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 we cannot let this go. But in a sense, y'all let Weinstein go right. He, he in jail somewhere, but he still kept his award. So it's kind of tit for tat. But I'm like, us being of the uh minority and us being of the melanin race we can't be conducting ourselves out here like that because if we do feel like we can do that guess what it's gonna be a lot of dead black folks running around here and and, and uh people that don't consider themselves black but they of the melanin type they gonna be it's gonna be a lot of dead people running up around here because you can't everyday folks everyday hard working folks can't go out there and put their hands on people physically just because they said something that they didn't like i mean it's a whole nother thing to uh guard or protect and and, and love on his wife jada hey sticks and stalls sticks and stalls but you better not lay a hand on them you better not lay a hand on them then it's gonna be a situation and then the slap would have been appropriate but just jokes i mean now we're gonna have to look at a, a series of things or people gonna have to say well can we say this can we say that when they're comedians it's just like everybody don't got too sensitive about different things of being picked at because i'm like if jada was feeling that kind of way she should have stayed her ass at home got in touch with her feelings do some meditation whatever okay because people are not gonna be what do you call it uh ethically thinking half the time and when you got somebody that's supposed to tell jokes they're gonna always try to push their envelope it just just don't matter or better yet just say okay academy we don't want any comedians it's going to be other actor and actresses up there presenting or, or standing up there and and congratulating the winners of you know whatever uh film producing or acting supporting actress or whatever we don't have them or comedians getting up there okay and I just concluded that one because Simon Gabadia thinks he's up there with <laughs> the real rich and famous. Okay, that's Portia Williams' boyfriend. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it said uh, the Academy released a statement condemning his on-stage slap towards Chris Rock with disciplinary hearings having begun. And a statement released on March 30th to the Hollywood Reporter Reps for the Oscars revealed that disciplinary hearings have begun over the on-stage incident regarding Will 53. The Academy wrote in their scathing message, Mr. Smith's actions at the 94th Oscars were a deeply shocking and traumatic event to witness in person and on television. Now, if you, you know, if you know anything about numerology... And illuminating people, 94, 9 plus 4 is what? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, there we go, 13. Just, you know, giving y'all that eye fool or that mouth fool. It says, Mr. Rock, we apologize to you for what you experienced on our stage. And thank you for your resilience, resilience in that moment. We also apologize to our nominees, guests, and viewers for what transpired during what should have been a celebratory event. Then they added that Will apparently refused to leave the show. And I'm like, what do you mean he refused to leave? All thing you have to do is get security guards up there, manhandle him, and throw him out. That's it. End the story. And why was Will able to go to the after party? After the Oscars were over, why was he allowed? And I heard that Chris Rock went to the after party just briefly and then he left. And technically, Will Smith shouldn't have been there, period. And I'm putting the T on after the D. Okay, going back to the article, it says, Then things unfolded in a way we could not have anticipated. While we would like to clarify that Mr. Smith was asked to leave the ceremony and refused, we also recognize we should have handled the situation differently. No, no, no. 
when Will Smith was asked to leave and he did not leave, then guess what? You're giving him more power to control that situation and the narrative of his horrible display of human behavior. See, any other, you know, walk of the life human being, they did something, they called in the cops. You mean LAPD went around there on tap? They knew about the incident, and I'm pretty sure LAPD wasn't sitting in the crowd nowhere, okay? I'm just saying, sounds kind of fishy to me. But anyway, going to uh, according, going back to the article, according to TMZ, two Oscars officials, David Rubin, who is the president of the Academy, and Don Hudson, their CEO, were the individuals who asked Will to lead. The statement continued, the Board of Governors today initiated disciplinary proceedings against Mr. Smith for violations of the Academy's standards of conduct, including inappropriate physical contact, abuse, or threatening behavior, and compromising the integrity of the Academy. Mr. Smith is being provided at least 15 days notice of a vote regarding his violations and sanctions and the opportunity to be heard beforehand by means of written response. Uh, they also said in their damning memo that at the next board meeting in April 18th, they would take any disciplinary actions including suspension, exposure, or other sanctions. Okay, and it says the shocking moment uh, in one of the most infamous moments in Oscar's history on Sunday night, Will hit Chris Rock after the stand-up comic 57 refused or referenced Jada's shaved head, saying, Jada, I love you, G.I. Jane too, I can't wait to see it. Matrix actress Jada, who first revealed she suffered from her hair loss condition, uh, alopecia in 2018 rolled her eyes at the joke and looked upset which appeared to prompt Will into action. Stars including Nicole Kidman and Lupita Nyong looked horrified as he stormed the stage and hit the presenter hard across the face. Now that same person Lupita Nyong uh, you know she played in um, Black Panther I'm like why was she staying there and letting Will disrespect her by using all that profanity? Why didn't she leave her table that was right next to them? Uh, she was like smack dab in the middle, but she didn't. And then she was also at the after hours party hanging around the Smiths. So you see what I'm saying? It seems like everything is mashed up, whipped up and served to us on a platter of seeing one thing when another thing is actually happening. You see what I'm saying? They were all in cahoots with this shit. But like I said, I really believe, honestly, it was a ritual being performed and it just went over most people's heads. But anyway, uh, going back to the article, it says the French uh, Fresh Prince star then walked back to his seat as stunned as Crick said, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Will yelled at the comedian, leave my wife's name out your effing mouth. Chris looked visibly shaken and said, wow dude, it was a G.I. Jane joke, to which Will repeated, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. It is believed that Chris has not spoken to Will since the incident. The duo have yet to make amends following the incident as Chris reportedly went straight to his dressing room after leaving the stage. According to the... TMZ, the comedian was not aware that Jada suffers from alopecia when he made the joke. Will takes the stage. It's unclear when or where Will was asked to leave, according to the Hollywood reporter Scott Feinberg, <coughs> who was in attendance. A Tilford Smith needed to be pulled aside and comforted by fellow actors Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry during a commercial break. Will shortly after took the stage for his acceptance speech for Best Actor, which he won for his role in King Richard. And see, that's my point. Will went up there and did that most disturbing, damaging thing to himself and to black people in general. Because, you know, the world already looks at... Uh, not if you're uh, not in well if you're not in the Hollywood scene anything outside of a normal working hard uh, hard working person who happens to be black they don't get the same breaks that Will got in this situation in other words it seems like Will was a privy black man <coughs> so 
he don't get judged or punished the same way as another regular black man would have if they would have did the same thing to someone else even if it was on the same color thing uh if the, you know, if you're looking at just color and race but no 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 uh we shouldn't have been able to go back on that stage for no reason whatsoever but of course they went on like in fashion style priviness gets rewarded even if bad behavior was attached to that you see where i'm going with it, people but going back to the article it says while tears running down his cheeks smith said that the richard williams was a fierce defender of his family and that arts imitates life and i said no 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 don't don't misconstrue anything will because what i'm hearing on these youtube streets you trying to go to therapy and saying you had memory <coughs> reoccurrences in your brain with your mother being abused by your dad but i'm pretty sure that abuse took some one-on-one -on -one, um hitting that he was doing to your mother but nobody was hitting jada you see what i'm saying nobody was beating on jada wasn't nobody dragging jada okay so it was really nothing for you to defend but having a conversation off the stage once taping was over with or y'all were having an intermission break or whatever then you go have that conversation in private okay you could have said well man i really didn't appreciate what you did to my wife my wife was you know in tears or she was feeling some kind of way for the negative i need you to go up there and apologize when we come back for the you know set just like you embarrassed her publicly and you didn't know she had this problem going on with her or this illness or whatever you need to go up there and apologize in public and then we won't have a problem but if you can't go up there and do that look for me on them streets and that's how he should have handled it because <coughs> will is too smart and educated uh to not know the difference okay it just is what it is and then he never really from what i've seen you know on his sitcom shows and all this stuff he ain't really cuss and carry on even in his raps songs he never cussed so i'm like what transpired to make you get into an entity of a person that nobody seemed like they recognized on that particular night okay I'm just saying going back to the article it says love will make you do crazy things he added i'm hoping the academy invites me back smith said after apologizing to event organizers and his fellow nominees but not one time that you apologize for what you went up there and did that disastrous thing which was hit another fellow actor slash comedian uh you didn't apologize to him so how would we really feel that you were sincere with your apology to everybody else except for the man you slapped you see where we're going with this will but going back to the article it says will finally apologize to chris almost a full day after the incident calling his actions unacceptable and inexcusable he wrote on instagram violence in all of its form is poisonous and destructive my behavior at last night's academy awards was unacceptable and inexcusable now that does that mean will you're going to get back your award <laughs> okay and all the prestige that go with it then we can say okay brother recognize what he did was wrong he uh was a stand-up person and he should have you know he's given back the award because of his behavior and his demeanor it broke all contract rules of what the academy um what do you call it was all about their rules and regulations and their bylaws that would have been the thing to do because like i said did nobody hit uh, did nobody hit your wife or threaten her in any kind of way they were just telling jokes you were sitting up there laughing at the joke until it stopped getting funny for J uh, Jada. Then Jada gonna put some in your ear, and you gonna go up there and be, you know, like capping all. I like, oh, that's too much, Will, too much. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Chris has said to not be pressing charges, and on the view, Whoopi Goldberg alleged will Will would keep his Oscar. So I don't know, maybe Whoopi know because she's up there in the who's and who. She's illuminated and all that kind of stuff. So she may know. Now, nah, that, that, you know, he going to keep his award. But we might not let him have other opportunities. I'm like, really? Going back to the article, it says, However, the Sun earlier reported that Chiefs have begun top secret emergency tops 
talks on the topic. Insider said furious members of the academy joined the meeting by Zoom and demanded the Men in Black star also be kicked out of the prestigious organization over his antics with those talks now clearly under the underway. And for what I did hear, well, like I said, we are trying to put it on, you know, just traumatic things that he went through growing up and he had to deal with all his life. But I'm like, <laughs> come on, Will, you got to do better than that. Your PR people going to have to be a little sharper than what they're trying to spend out. Because, uh, no, baby, you were up there laughing like everybody else, like it normally happens. You're at the end, you're in and you're out. And it's just something that comedians do. And from my understanding, this whole thing was rehearsed. And everybody knew that was going to come up. Couldn't anybody have suggested that? Uh, did y'all hear about Jada and her issue with her baldness or her baldness? And how, you know, her hair is, you know... <sighs> It's being lost in certain spots on her head. So to just remove all that. She shaved her head. And she prefers her hair not to grow anymore. Because it's not going to grow back right anyway. And could you not have anybody that had their ears and, and eyes to the streets of the YouTube world? Okay. Even if the lamest person uh, or unwitty person could have found out this information. But like I said, they so sharp. They stupid. Okay. But that's all I have for this particular video. What do y'all think about Will? Uh, do y'all think it was fair that he went out there and did that type of action? Do you think he handled it appropriately? Do you think he needs to have his award stripped from him and the, privi uh, the privileges and the prestigious role of being a part of such an organization who don't, how they say, don't condone it. But yet and still, Weinstein that's in jail for doing all these other crazy things, he was still allowed to keep his Oscars. Okay, plural, not, you know, singular, but plural. So if they're going to tighten down, squeeze up, refashion the whole ideal of what an Oscar and the criteria you have to meet to be able to be a recipient of that type of prestigious awards, then they need to go clean house, clean the, clean the, the stench up, and then uh, look forward to punishing Will, however y'all choose to do it, okay? But, hey, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. That's how I see it. Everybody should be stripped. If they got to be up here like they're part of the World Wrestling Federation. Or they feel like they get a little too happy with their hands. And they don't know where to put them. Which they should have been in his pockets. But he want to go inside somebody's face, head, or body. Yeah, it's time to do some damage. Even if it's our own kind that's out there doing these things okay somebody has to be made an example and if will took his happy ass up there because jada said do something man do something then you should deserve being stripped of everything in hollywood because you don't make your money you have plethora of money on top of money so it just is what it is but that's all I got for this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all like the love. Gotta have more. Just don't forget me. Please subscribe to the channel. Share and like my videos. And get down in those comments. You know, I love to hear from you all. Alright? And I'll see you next video.